Man, this is gonna be a short update. Welcome to day 71 of 100 days of making comics. And on today's uh, Tuesday, look what I got in the mail. Huh? That's Kevin Cross's uh, cover for the Life in Space anthology by the, the 100s. That's us, people who do 100 Days of Making Comics, half an hour at the very least, every day on your personal comic book project, in spite of your busy schedule. Well, today was definitely a little bit busy. I've had my, uh, my future new flatmate come round to the house. I had to go pick this one up from the post office, which is a little while away, and I had to go there on that device because summer is here. It was really nice and hot today. And, um, that kind of put a smile on uh, on my face. Well, I suffered through meetings and trainings and the usual phone calls at the office where I get to work during the day. And uh, thinking about what I'm gonna do next for Fast Forward, my little sci-fi adventure comic book. I'm a little bit lost, I've noticed. Like yesterday I started writing. Today for my half an hour, I did more writing. But really what I started to do halfway through because I just noticed like I was, the last week has been so disciplined and structured. Like I, it's tedious. I know exactly what I have to do. And then all of a sudden it's finished. And I'm like, um, I guess I have to do the next, the next thing, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So once I realized that I was feeling a little bit lost, I, I took the comic book and just started going through every page. So yesterday I wrote down some of the mistakes uh, things I like to fix list but today I just started going through the pages like fix this here fix that there because the next phase in my mind should be traditional art redraw the pages so on every page there's pointers I want to make so I'm, I've just been going through the pages like figuratively speaking with a red pen and pointing out the obvious thing that needs to be fixed on that page, whether it's a particular panel, uh, whether I wanna make sure that I, I figure out how to do a certain uh, texture, you know, like I've just been making this list because um, when you do, yes, I know, when you do your little full-time job and, uh, and you have your going-ons in your life, like, Trying to get tickets for Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> Almost sold out, but I got them. The three of us on a Friday. Um, you know, and then you just find yourself caving in, completely exhausted from everything that's been happening. If, if what you have to do is just incredibly regimented and laid out, so you just have to go and do it, but you don't have to put much thought in it, it really helps. And so today, because I didn't have that, I just kind of started sliding and just, like I said, I spent about half an hour writing, but I probably spent another half an hour just scratching my head in between, not like, what is happening? And besides that, I got a new gig. Um, so one of the ladies from the head office in Brussels, who was over, for a little training and a little, you know, like introducing herself because she's like senior. Um, I guess he's gonna improve a lot for admin, but also for us on the tech department. But she told one of her colleagues over there that, well, there's this guy and he draws a lot because, you know, while she was sitting next to me, like listening into some of my phone calls, I was just doodling away in my little sketchbook, which is right over there and full. And so uh, she recommended me because they need, they need some uh, illustrations for a project which is kind of like up in the air what it exactly is. So I don't know if you can see that, but I also managed to find a little bit of time to, uh, to draw this. And there's about four more digitally that I draw in my Cintiq right over here. And then there's like another four over there. So they're very quick doodles. Um, the same with my comic book, because I didn't really know exactly what I was gonna draw, what style it was in. It 
the amount of time I spend drawing, I've probably also spent just staring at the wall, not knowing what to do. So that's the kind of Tuesday this is. So I hope you guys have, uh, are doing well on your projects. And um, I guess I'll be seeing you tomorrow on another 100 Days of Making Comics, round two. But for now, it is 11.30 in the evening. It is time to prepare my sandwiches for tomorrow so I don't wake up too late and not have sandwiches and eat cookies instead. Ah, the trials and tribulations of being an adult.